Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another Photoshop Element 6 video tutorial. I am your host Jack and in this video tutorial I had two different emails. One asked me, Jack, how do you take somebody out of a picture with a lot of background? The one we did with changing the background as you noticed I used basically a single color wall so it was pretty easy to to take that person or extract that person out. Today we're going to look at how we can extract somebody from a busy background um, with a lot of different background information and we just want to get certain people out of that background. The second email asked me, Jack, can I use a JPEG picture as a background instead of using, you know, like different colors or how we created uh, different uh, gradient backgrounds. So I'm going to also demonstrate that. So it's going to be two tutorials kind of wrapped in one. And we'll call it um, using a picture as a background. First I have these wedding pictures open that I took at a wedding and these are some outdoor shots. We're going to take these folks out of this background and we're going to change it and put a different background and using a picture. Let's go ahead and right click on that and we're going to open it in the full editor. Let's go ahead and first we'll get started with this. And as soon as it opens up here, and I know right now a lot of you are saying, Jack, why don't you get a faster computer? And I'm working on that. I'm working on building another machine actually to do these video tutorials and be a little bit faster. So here's our picture. Now, the first thing we have to do is get these people out of this background. There's a lot of different ways you can do it, but I like to do it the easiest way and to make it the most simplest. So let's go up to image the pull down menu and go down to our magic extractor which we, we've used before in a segment and we all know how to use the magic extractor we start by going over the foreground that we want to keep then we go over and color in the background that we don't want we can use an eraser we can use a magnifying glass to pull up some edges if we want to get closer, which I think we're going to do right now. Just to kind of get in here so we can make sure we're getting close to this stuff. And let's go ahead and we'll just start coloring in our foreground color. Now on this one, when you're extracting something from a background, something from, you know, that has a very busy background, not a, like a white or a solid color background, the first thing I like to do is trace it and be kind of careful with where my lines are because I want to make sure I get all the detail that I have to get. And you know, I said before with the Magic Extractor tool, you normally just got to give Photoshop Elements uh, enough detail to understand what you're trying to extract. But in this case, it's a very good idea to make sure that we get as much of the detail that we want to keep as possible. And the background is not that intense. Use the hand tool, we can move this picture up some. And we're going to use the brush here again. So we got to make sure that we're going in here because, let's face it, when you're working in a white dress especially, and when you're working using the extractor, white to Photoshop could very much look like light. Alright, let's go back here. Let's push it up some more. Click on back here. And we'll go down here. Try to get as much as the shoe as possible. Come back up his pant leg. Come back down in here back around the bottom of her dress and let's go here let's go back up here all right on that now now that we have that done now once we get that much of it actually done, to get out of your expanded mode or your um, using your magnifying glass, get out of your zoom mode, if you hold your control key down, 
and hit the right curve or the number zero that'll put it back down to regular size in your in your screen here so you can see what you're extracting let's go ahead and we're gonna magnify it one more time so we can just try to get the um, body done here just a little better and we'll just go ahead and start touching up the body now that we got the edges pretty much defined the way we want them let's just go over the uh, clothes here the face we have all that taken care of and get this cut out and while we're doing that I can tell you that this job was a lot easier if you have a Wacom tablet um, not that Wacom supports the shows at all. Uh, it'd be nice if we got some advertising money from Wacom. But hey, you know, I'm here to help you out, so I want you to actually be able to do this a lot easier. I picked up my Wacom tablet, which I'm not using right now. I'm using a mouse. But I picked up the Wacom tablet off of um, B&H Photo and Video and actually got a closeout model. Um, I paid $69 for mine, so it's a really good deal. You can also find them around eBay. If you look around eBay and do a little shopping, you'll find a nice uh, Wacom tablet. It allows you to use a pen uh, or a stylus, basically, on a plastic uh, on a plastic surface, and it takes a little hand-eye coordination, but you'll get used to it in no time. All right, make sure I got his head. All right, once we get that done, now let's go ahead and extract the background. And for this, I like to use a brush size, you know, 100%. Because I'm cutting out all this background anyway, makes it a lot easier. Let's go pretty close to the guys here and uh, make sure we get this cut out good. Let's get right down here and across and back up. And the reason I use 100 is just because I can just scrape through here pretty easy and pretty quick. Color it in, we don't have to be perfect. It will, it will get rid of the background for you, so don't worry about it. All right. Around the heads. Around the back here. Down. And, you know, it goes by color, too. So it works off of the colors. It's going to see the green. And we'll just cut out the rest of this. Once you get everything selected that you want to have selected, the background and foreground, hit the preview button and then you'll have a screen that looks like this. It gives you an idea of what's still there, if there's anything you have to clean up. But you know, for right now, for this uh, demonstration, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. The last thing we're going to do is feather this out. A feather of about three will soften the edges just a little bit. So it kind of blends in better with another background. Then just go ahead and click OK. And there you have it. Like I said, it could be a lot cleaner on these edges right here. Maybe we'll go back in there and extract some of that. So I'm going to just pause this and clean this up just a little bit. All right. Now that we have everything extracted the way we want it, and the, the picture looks pretty decent, uh, we're pretty happy with it, the more time you take with this, the better it's going to be. That just makes sense. Let's go ahead now and get our picture for our background. So I'm just going to click on Organizer. And I actually preloaded these in here. I bought these off the internet, is where you buy backgrounds at. And this is set one. These are just a bunch of different pictures that were created to use as backgrounds. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use this gazebo. Just right click on here and open it up in the full editor. Once we have the gazebo open, There's our gazebo. And as you see, our picture is already open in the background here. So just pull the gazebo over. We can pull this picture over a little bit. Then all we have to do is click on the Move tool. Click on the people here and just move them over and drop them on a gazebo picture. It doesn't really matter. Don't be specific or specific. I'm sorry, where you drop this at. You just want to drop it on there. Bring it over here. I'm running out of time here for the uh, YouTube video 10-minute uh, uh, orientation here, but I want to try to finish this up. Once you have them there, you can move them around a little bit. And if they don't look like they're quite proportioned for the picture, 
just as long as you clicked on that layer that you're working with, go up to Image, Resize, and let's go to Scale. We can just scale this down just a little bit. And you kind of got to look at the background. Look where this is here. This is probably an 8-foot arch. And you don't want the guy to be 8 foot tall. So we, we're going to drop him down a little bit. And that just about takes care of it. And there we go. And just move them until they look good. Then you take that, save it as a JPEG picture. And now you put a picture on a picture as a background. So it works very well.